Very, very smoky in here. An artist little worker here. She's cleaning up everything. Very good. Oh. Very smoky. Listen to how loud it is. It's actually deafening. So I tried a bit of it. It was the intestines. Have to say. I love it, man. <laughs> this is my like early group of very horror, man. I was getting rid of the uh, the knife that I used to sacrifice the goat. Is that a special knife? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. He's Now they're sharpening it up. Oh, <laughs> The sheep won't like it though. <laughs> I don't think the sheep will like it very much. Yeah. I'm like, you're the sheep that's going to be sacrificed. I wonder if it knows what's going to happen. Does it know what's going to happen? Okay, this is a very big deal for the local community. And uh, like I said, I mentioned at the beginning. It happens maybe twice a year they, they sacrifice the uh, goat. Um, so it is, you know, brings the local guys and villagers all together. Um, I know it's not great to have the actual sacrifice, but they really do, you know, respect the animal. They they eat everything and they, nothing goes to waste. And, well, just wait and see. You are ready to put your picture? It's video. Okay. Huh? You should be following YouTube rules. Yeah, yeah, no, but you can record it, but what do you do is you cut it. Right. Like right before yeah. and then afterwards when you're skinning it or something. And it's okay. Okay. I'll be out on the video. Hey, 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 hey. Do 
Okay, we'll get a look. Good luck, Cynthia. Go out there, What was that you tied up? Oh, you're covered in blood. That's to take the skin off? Or the fur? Yeah. Oh, try, man. I know video. It's okay. Try, man. No, no, it's okay. Look at your hands. Your hands are covered in blood. Because of, so I'm not going to the fresher for you, <laughs> it will be like a new experience in your life. No, that, okay. That's why I'm telling okay. you. <laughs> I'll watch. I'll videotape. Okay. Well, oh, it comes out pretty easy, <laughs> eh? Good. <laughs> 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 so there's finishing up the uh, shaving of the sh 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 goat and then they got some spices there it looks like curry is it or what is it turmeric is that turmeric? Yes, turmeric. So we are, we are going to the colorful lego. Yeah. Here's some more coming in. How much food would that give you for, would that feed you for a week or? For a sick one? Yeah. So because we don't actually, actually probably we don't provide for the food, you know? Yeah. So we'll be provide for the like a night time, some grass. Actually like if, uh, like a uh, morning time, we'll, uh, like uh, after it will be, you will be take out some grass in the jungle. No, no, but I mean, this, this, this uh, goat, how long, uh, how many meals would you get out of that? I think a few kilo, few kg. Like it'll be for tonight? Yeah. And then what? Would you have it for the next couple of days or? No, no, next morning. Next morning, that's it? <laughs> like at like lunchtime, they will go to the like first. Because then it doesn't uh, keep, eh? Yeah. Like you don't have refrigerator or freezer here. Yes. But you have all your friends come and have some, right? I already told you, so because of spring, we are spending the celebrating, like we yeah. will feel like a chill. Yeah. So because we are running for some beer, yeah. some carton. So because you can't bring a beer, you don't feel well, so we'll try to <laughs> go ahead with us. Yeah, yeah. So we can enjoy. That's why I'm, I will invite you here. Yeah. You understood? I understand. Drink? Coffee? No, no, I'm good. I just had a big tea. Okay, okay. Plus, I have my own filter water, so it's good. I can refill it. So you feel better now today? So yeah, yeah. It wasn't no, it's just, it wasn't bad. Uh, it's, the, it's the trip. That's a bad trip to Kathmandu from here. So, so is, oh. 
It wasn't bad trip. Just yeah. like you feel it like bad. bad. It was it bad. Was bad like it was a you. bad trip. Because you are traveling the first time in the off road, that's so why you feel like yeah. a, like a trad. Plus, you, you go pretty high too, eh? Yeah. Like, what is the elevation that we drove? Yesterday? Yeah. So I think around 2,000 meter it was. Just that? I thought it was higher than that because I felt like we were pretty high up. No, I Around 2,000. Yeah. 200. So like you are you are asking me about still Yeah. It was like high felicity. Yeah, it was like I felt it uh, in my ears and stuff. Yeah. You want to see everybody? What do you do with the rest of this then? What do you do now? So we are going to the like cutting. Cut it up? Yeah. You can look, you can wait for the like one hour, like half an hour, 45 minutes. It will be like this. Yeah. The rest of the head and the pieces. See the brains over there. Yeah. <laughs> It's all the gas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't eat the stomach, eh? Yeah. You eat the stomach? Do you kind of the stomach? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I don't know. Kugla <laughs> No idea. You are going to go to the You are going to go to the house. You are going so you see the little girl picks up the, uh, the container with the blood because they like the, they don't waste anything everything gets put aside you know they're cleaning up as they go like every single piece now the guy that butchers the animal you'll see later they'll, they'll actually take out scales they have two uh, scales that they, they divide up and he gets two and a half kilos of the meat that's cut up and they chop everything it's not like butchered at your local store um, like they literally chop everything in pieces and that because it's easier to divide and separate and cook and and then they reuse it until it's all gone. Here we are cleaning all the intestines out. Can we use that for sausages? Is that it? Or? 
No, so we have to go mix in the meat. Yeah. It's really like local comedy, like local food. They are saving for the like in the in the meat. meat. Yeah, like sausage. You yeah. put it in the meat inside the uh, yeah. skin. Okay, so before the uh, the meal is prepared, we <laughs> celebrating with uh, Nepali ice, super strong, seven <laughs> percent. So we're all sitting around here, and uh, his dad and that's having. Uh, the other famous drink in Nepal, which is Mountain Dew. <laughs> Mountain Dew is very, very big in, in uh, Nepal. And you see everyone carrying these big bottles of Mountain Dew everywhere. Preparing. That's the intestines. And there's the uh, rest, and she has the fire. And it's very, very smoky in here. And the hardest little worker here. She's cleaning up everything. Very good. Oh. So they'll cook that up and then we'll have that a little bit later. No, you don't have to touch. Don't touch. It's all good. Okay? And then I can choose the best picture. So. There we go. Thank you. There we got both. Anyabad. Number one camera person. Okay, Singapore. <laughs> that with some, uh, is that beaten rice? Is that flat rice? Yeah. yeah. That's a big Nawari thing, eh? Beat it flat rice. So I tried a bit of it. It was the intestines. Have to say, didn't really like it for myself. He he loves it though. I love it, man. <laughs> this is my like early girl uh, pretty poor, man. So the uh, the goat uh, was sacrificed for this meal. I didn't know. Watch him take a nice big chunk out of it. There you go. <laughs> and then eat it. Now, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's the sound of these insects. Listen to how loud it is. It's actually deafening. I wouldn't say they're crickets. Crickets on steroids, maybe. I don't know. Hello. She's uh, gonna cook the rest of the meat so to preserve it. We will all eat the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the rice, which is the bat, and then the meat. The soup sauce and it's very good. Um, so it's finishing up, and we're gonna call it a night. Tomorrow we're gonna climb at the top of the hill, supposedly, to get a great view. We'll see. Good afternoon. We are right here, twentieth or the third of the Arab calendar. So basically, this calendar is October and November combined. So, I'll just give you a little insight of what goes on here. So, the father got up at two in the morning. He took a goat and he had to walk. Basically, it was like to another village to sell it. For the Dashain holiday. So that was like about three hours there and three hours back. He sort of came in around nine in the morning. Then the kids they had been gone since about about 9 30 in the morning after breakfast. They go out all the way up there. There's some sheep in the little shed there and then they take the sheep out and they bring them up to into the forest up on the hills. They do that every day and they, about three o'clock or so, they'll bring them back, put them back in their pens, and then come in. And they're like small kids. Now, Majendra and her dad went off to get some, uh, some grass, and they go walk, it's about a half an hour away, they walk, cut it all up, put it in the baskets, bring it back, and that's to feed the uh, goats. So it's a very, very hard life. Like, they have everything they need, there's all sorts of fruits and vegetables and like here's a I've even noticed there's a fig tree here you know right beside where the so that's a wash I had a I had a bucket shower and it was very refreshing and nice hot water you know um, but it is very you know basic lifestyle and that uh, uh, there's no uh, modern uh, accommodations in that it's you know enough to get by um, they're hard, hard working people and they're very nice and they always want to try to feed you. I just 
just not able to eat the amount that they can eat. But there's always, you know, they have uh, three cats, two dogs, a bunch of chickens, they got goats, they got sheep, they got um, ox and buffaloes. And this is all their land too. All that where you see the rice paddies there, that's all theirs too. And they had that beautiful waterfall we saw yesterday. So, yeah, just chilling out. We have uh, tonight and tomorrow night. Tomorrow night's a, a little short night because we're leaving the next morning at like about 4 a.m. to get that terrible, terrible road, road ride home. Um, took us about 14, 15 hours to get here. And we're looking well, somewhere the same. And then I'm going to stay in three different accommodations on... Um, before my flight, my flight's gonna be um, in three uh, three days after we get into Kathmandu. So we get into Kathmandu on the 22nd, and I leave the 25th. And then I have a two-day trip to get home because I'll be leaving the 25th and getting home on the 26th. So that'll be an interesting trip as well. I think 30 days is a long time to stay away from the family in that. Um, you know, first time away of a long distance like this, so I wanted to make the most of it. I think in retrospect, uh, the most you'd want to be away is, I wouldn't even say three weeks, like 18 days when I went to the Spain, to the Camino was, was okay. But uh, that would be the limit, so I think you can go away, spend about two weeks to a place, and then come home would be fine. Just look at what the mother's carrying, like she's almost 70 and she has to carry that every day, that big basket. Uh, it looks quite large and heavy, and she goes in the field, brings that in, and that feeds the goats and the, uh, the buffaloes. What about us? Uh, yeah, I asked, well, I wonder what this was. I've seen all this, these rocks. I thought it was from the fire and that, but I asked them, no, it's like a chalk. And they get it from a fireplace, they bring it in the baskets, and they dry it up here. And what they do is they mix it up with water, and that's how they, they whitewash and paint the sides of the buildings with the, uh, the stones. They crush it up and mix it with water. I'm never going to go to the side. Yeah, I will tell you tomorrow. I said, you got to go How are you, big boss? Good. Very good. <laughs> 